I like listening to music while I'm playing the game, but uh, two people have uh, teamed. Anyway, I'll talk you through your mentality, so... Okay, Koreans. Oh, it's actually really loud, isn't it? Hang on. I'm gonna turn the game sound down. Oops, not too much. Okay. So, what are we up against? It's always really important to know what you're against as well. So it's always worth checking. Let me just... Let me just have a look. So, Vikings, Celts. And they've got a Frank as well, so kind of... What am I again? I'm a Korean, so I kind of want to kill... I don't want to help. If ever you're a Siege Civ, you always want to make sure that you're helping your allies with Siege. It's like one of the main things to learn. Uh... So actually, Orange is the Frank, so he's kind of the guy I want to kind of focus down, so... I actually don't know. I'm gonna go Habs for two of the barracks. And then I'm gonna give my other allies... Oh, I'd build them too close, probably get raped. Uh, also really important is to know kind of what your trade lines are doing. And sometimes as well, if... You, like that mid is kind of sexy if I could get down the middle of it, but I think I probably kind of want a prior looking after. I always build TCs for gold, by the way, as soon as the first castle's built, so it's near enough. As soon as that's built, you'll see it. Let's build it now. There you go. So I kind of want to just give my allies Siege Onagaros, because they're still good. And I'd always TP, put your TC on gold as well, because then you get gold like earlier actually you don't want all your villagers on gold but actually probably what I'll do let me double check something here we've got a Saracen so I'm, I'm just gonna build a market at my base we'll just do that now so Saracen's got siege anyway but it's always super sex to have it early early game for your allies and also as well you never really want to kind of build too much early doors and you don't want to give away too many resources either but I'm gonna give away a fair chunk only because mainly because I'm more experienced than typical newbies I'm just gonna get some farms up early actually uh... let's just get that down I kind of want to support my ally here because he's against Franks even though he's Mong, like, Franks are pretty dead. Although, actually, my allies are getting caned over here. Where are these villages? Right here. Uh, I could have given maybe a bit too much away. I kind of want to bring these up, like, ASAP as well. My Saracen's going to do well anyway, because he's a good player, so... Don't forget uh, wood is Koreans as well. It's You don't need to go too crazy with TCs onto wood, but the Frank's actually this side. Look. Just telling my allies to get back because they're going to get raped in the face. Raped. But I don't have any units that side. And the Mong's not moving long. <laughs> I kind of don't need to control my onagers too much. As long as they're in range, that's all you need to worry about. Fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what LSD is doing, man. He's like waiting for like... Like Earth to freeze over or some shit. And manually fire these dudes. Because it's kind of cool to do that. If you can get it on the pallies anyway. I didn't really... Never mind. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to take my units to the other side. Because clearly, the LSD... <laughs> Can you boot LSD for teaching him not to sell his ass? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I would be shooting these with my castle as well if I was the Brit. Uh, I think we're okay here anyway. I, I kind of only need to spam siege just as strong. I'm, I'm kind of not doing actually as much as I probably would be if I wasn't talking. <laughs> but, nah, we're fine. Mainly in team game, it's just about building an advantage uh, in the right spots. Well, that's what I learned anyway. I'm just going to get some early trade. Use up what gold I do have. 
Okay. We've got a lot of siege on us. Oh my god. To be fair though, we are fighting against a Celt, so... That kind of makes sense. I'm just going to try and fire down some of these Pallias. Oh shit, there's more Pallias. Any of them? I'll do splash damage on them, so that's the main thing. But... Oh, champs. Yeah, get in there, champs. Fuck it. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> Jump stack! Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some woodcutters now, so. May as well bother with those dudes. It's like, this game is like proper chilled for me, anyways. I gotta shoot some of these carts. Die, motherfucking cart. Just for if I stop slagging. I have no idea what LSD is doing, by the way. He's just chilling. Oh, what's going on down here? Hmm. We seem fine, anyway. I gave loads of trip to... Um, oh, I'm going to split up some of these. Hmm. And then the Berserkers will follow these guys. Meanwhile, I can attack some of the trade. Um, why am I hearing something attacking where it shouldn't be? Oh, it's here. Where the fuck are my habs gone? Fuck. <laughs> anyway, we just kind of need to defend off the cow. He's doing a fair bit. Let's see that like his trade's dying off. And what you can do is sometimes, if they're dumb enough, if they put it to patrol, which they're not. Oh, all right. It's funny sometimes, because you can do that sometimes. <laughs> they'll go and kill those, and then they won't follow these. It's kind of hilarious. It's like they'll assume they're dead, but they're not. Hmm. That's my thingy. So, I'd say probably it's only the center of the map that I'm a bit worried about right now. Probably like that. That bit. I got loads of stone. Like, I love, I love how these war wagons are still causing chaos in the back of their base. <laughs> Sometimes you just waypoint them around, and then they just follow them around for ages. I'm nearly pop capped. I am pop capped. Look at these. <laughs> look, look how much is following it as well. Look. <laughs> It's like their entire fucking army is like chasing these three war dragons like ah oh, no I died, I died. <laughs> So hilarious Too fair though once they kill these war wagons they're gonna patrol every single one of these palaces <laughs> right back down to the base. It's so look it's so funny Meanwhile in Africa Oh! No! No! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Run out of room, boys! It's you're on your own! Shit. Um. Yeah, so it's the middle of the map that I was worried about, so. Actually, I'll back that up a bit and build it there. Um, I actually realised I don't have any siege, like, at my base. For myself. Which could be fun. Yeah, middle of the middle of the map sometimes where teams can change around for you and stuff. Is this am I disconnected or no? I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, like sometimes as well, like one of the things is like I think is not to get uh, transfixed on what your score is because your score is not a represent a representation of you being a bad player on a team, like just because you have the lowest score, doesn't like I have the lowest score right now, but I don't give two shits because right now I'm doing exactly what my teammates need me to be doing, which is just making siege units and just following their army. <laughs> so I don't need to do anything else. Plus, I used war wagons to run around their base for like a billion years. Although those paladins will find their way back wherever they decide to end up. 
So, and you also want to check your eco balance as well. Like, I got nine farmers right now, but that's kind of fine because I'm Korea. So, Korea only need wood. Then nukes. No. Shit. I didn't control these bad boys. Oh, no, I am. You see, look, if you manually target the siege, like, you can take out so many pallies. Like, all their pallies die. Let's just do that again. See if we can do it. I need them time to be clustered, though. To have the most damage. Oh, no. Shit. No. <laughs> just wiped out my Saracen's army, lol. I probably could build more farms, to be fair. I don't really. I go. I, I, I eat these berries. Lol. Actually, you can all die. Like, every single one of you. I don't care about any of you. Your bloodline has ended. <laughs> See ya. I'll build some wagons and I'll go support the Mong. But I'll do it from my base, I think. Um, that's not great. It's just gonna stop that. Uh. Oh. Come on, wood. Let's just walk it. I mean, we're, we're going to win this game pretty soon, but... Can... Da, 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 da. Also as well, like, it's a good... <laughs> Look at the Mongo, like, Help me, KD! I'm being attacked! <laughs> I need your support, dude. You're a freaking Mongo, mate. You're even more powerful than me. In terms of longevity. Let's take out these videos. Die already. And that one. Yeah. Alright, the siege is so strong as well. Like sometimes I put the, all my siege on stand ground, right? As well as my war wagons. Oh. Let's just take that out. Because I don't like that. There's another one actually. Uh oh. Okay. I'm not going to kill those pallies with my siege because they will. These I'm going to kill though. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. See here, yeah. bye already. Oh shit, we'll check. But yeah, sometimes it's better to spend a bit of time like focusing down what you're doing rather than it is uh, worrying about like being macro-y and like making sure that you're like doing things all the time. Like sometimes your eco can take care of itself once it's set up, so you don't need to worry too much. I'm not gonna take all my onagas in actually. I outrange him anyway, so. Okay, now I need to kind of get these, but ah, uh, no, it's okay. It's just, no, I'm not going to stop that. Oh, fuck it. I could actually take out that castle with my onagers. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Oh, I just killed so many of his camels, lol. That was a misclick on my part. I'm going to kill this castle with these. Ah, oh, no, I'm not. Lol cakes. Watch this. You see, when you patrol paladins. Oh shit. It'd help if my siege were back a bit. See, when you patrol paladins. Oh, I think I wiped out some of his manga die. Shit. I'm still doing it. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'll just make more. But the thing is, when you make, uh, when you make paladins and you patrol them rather than singly attacking the. Uh, the, the siege onagers, then what happens is is that all the front lot attack whatever's nearest, right? So the siege don't really care because the paladins clearly outweigh them. So paladins are like, you know, obviously gonna trump you. So that's fine. You can you can commit loss at that point. So you're like, okay, all my front line can die, I don't care. But I'm gonna wipe out way more than I'm gonna lose. And that's kind of the logic. Did I take out that castle? Did I take out that castle? Or did we both take out that castle? Anyway, my allies down here are fine, they didn't hear me. Oh shit. 